Hi there, thank you for joining me. I'm pleased you're here today. What I wanna show you today are two jigs that you can make at your home today in probably less than 30 minutes. So what do you say we get started? We'll run that intro and we'll come back and I'll show you these two jigs. Okay, we are back. Thank you for joining me today. And I want to show you, first of all, a jig that you're going to use when you're making a guitar top. When you are scalloping the edges, whatever you happen to be doing, this is not the Martin, traditional Martin uh, bracing. It would be running down on an angle here, and this is in obviously for an armrest. But what you want to do is you want to get the pieces down here at the right height so when you cut the side of the guitar the top will fit on properly and to do that you need a little jig like this this is simply a two inch square block and what you'll do is set up your router for sixty thousandths of an inch and then you put this in a vise and just run your router over it and you put some slots in here and what this does is it tells you when you get down to 60, if it's too high, it rocks back and forth like that. But when it gets down here, it doesn't rock. So it, you know now that you have this at 60 thousandths of an inch because you need something in here. You don't feather it right out to zero. You might with these. But these here and up in here, you really want to be able to have them at the proper depth. Now, up in this area of, of the guitar, it gets a little tricky because this piece here is honestly too wide. So what I did is I nipped off the edges here so that it would fit and I can still tell whether or not I'm at 60,000. Now, I just simply ran the shoulders and just cut them off. What you could do is put them on a spindle sander and bring it right up to the edge and carve it out this way, and that way would let you get in even closer. So there is a simple jig. It's 60 thousandths of an inch. It's a piece of plywood, so it never warps. It stays exactly the way you want it, and it will last you as long as you're building guitars. So you'll use that over and over and over again. Now, there's another little problem that you need to solve. You're gonna have a bridge that's going up on the guitar here, like this. All right, what shape do you want this? It could be any kind of shape at all. Well, here's how you do that. You get a piece of plywood and you draw the shape you want in here. You might want to use a French press or something of that nature in order to get the curvature that you want. However, be sure you start by marking the center line and then the outlines on the far side. Now these outlines here are a little further. They're about six and a half inches apart. So I got three and a quarter here, three and a quarter here, because the bridge that I'm using is six inches from this tip to this tip. They are cut inward by about five degrees, just aesthetic. Sometimes I do it, sometimes I don't, it doesn't matter. So you simply take a piece, a block of wood that's gonna be your bridge. It's about an inch and a half deep. As I said, it's about six and a half inches wide. You put it in here. I like to draw the pattern. You can see the shape that it's going to be. So I will pencil this out with perhaps because it's dark wood, I'll, I'll use a white pencil. And then I'll take it over to the bandsaw and just nip it, not right down to the line. I want it back of the line because I'm going to do this on the router. And the reason for the second piece is to keep the depth and to keep it straight and square. And I've got, what, six screws in here. And then I've put these clamps on, these Bessie clamps on here, which you can buy 
in any hardware store. They just go down like that and hold the wood in place so that once this is kind of cut to shape, you set this in here like this, clamp those down, there it is. Now you go to your router table where you've got the router mounted up underneath and you simply start here and then right back down to here and down to this side and you'll end up with a shape like that. Now if you want a different shape, you want it coming in more and coming up, uh, you can do that. You simply do that by changing it here because this is going to follow the guide that's on the router table when you're going back and forth like that. So it's very simple to do, very easy. This is actually taking five jigs to make this, and this is jig number one. You've got four more jigs coming, show you how to do this, but it's very easy and it's very quick to do. And these clamps just make life so much easier when you can take something, you line it up with the center line, crank it down, and you're good to go. So that's it. It's as simple as that. So thank you so much for joining me. Short video today, just to let you know we're still here. Um, I did do a repair on a guitar and I changed the truss rod and I'll show you a little bit about that in a subsequent video. Uh, I don't have all the pictures that I would like for that, but you'll get the idea and we'll show you that in an upcoming video. All right, that's it. Thank you. Have a great day. Stay safe and stay away from people. Don't forget to check out the links down below and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.